O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, and I wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Hanukkah, uh, whatever you're celebrating out there, folks. Uh, have a great time, man. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow down 17, NASDAQ off 61, SPs off 4.5, gold contract up $13.70, traded at 1808 an ounce. You get silver up 32 cents, $23.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.5, $79.98 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Down nine ticks, trading at a price point of 113.08. The 30 year off 27 ticks at 127.19. We get the 10 year right now, folks, uh, yielding 3.715 and King Dollar. King Dollar's uh, down 92 ticks, trading 104.338. Year is at 106. The yen is at 132.85. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? The world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, what we have is this. We have, a, we have an ABC structure down. You have a monthly in the S&P down. You have a monthly in the Qs down. And now we have a daily in both of them also. So the bottom line is that you can expect lower prices coming at you the next few weeks, folks. Okay, bottom line, you broke the B points yesterday. You broke them with volume. And, you know, on the... On the SPY, the bottom line is that your projection is just about almost at that high, at that low. It's a little above the low. Uh, right now, the low is 348. Right now, you're at 380. Inside of the NDX 100, it's a whole different animal. The, the Qs, the projection on the Qs is $10 lower than the October low. So I expect what you're going to see here, we're going to blow away this October low. The October low is 254, um, and your projection is 244. So you're talking about some big numbers here. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What happened out here yesterday? Gold came down, had volume. This is the worst thing that gold could actually do today because the bottom line is that now what you're going to have, let's take a look at this. There we go. So what you're going to have here now is that yesterday we came down with uh, 176,000 contracts. You're doing 76,000 now, so you're going to be up at 100 or something like this, okay? Bottom line. That's not what you're looking for if you're inside the metals market. We're going to take a look at King Dollar, and you're going to see just the opposite. King Dollar is rejected lower price out here once again. You know, it doesn't have any juice, but the bottom line is that you rejected lower price. You know, we got to 104, 124 today. You know, you're a couple hundred, you're a hundred ticks off of it, but the bottom line is that, you know, it, it doesn't want lower price. That's how this baby is setting up right now. We're going to take a look at uh, some of the higher volume equities out here. Today is going to be a really light volume day, folks. You got uh, Tesla, that's just not stopping. That, that, that's going to, they're going to write books about this one, man. Tesla's down two bucks. You got Apple down 158. You got Amazon flat. Uh, NVIDIA's down 260. Now, NVIDIA was down 12 bucks yesterday, too. So it's, it's pretty, <laughs> the volatility is like wild out there, man. You got, uh, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. So inside the Dow Industrials, what we have happening out here, point wise, is that you have, uh, Chevron putting 29 positive points, Travelers 12, Honeywell 8. Take it away from it. You got uh, 3M minus 16, nothing heavy out here. Minus 16, Apple minus 10, uh, Microsoft minus 10. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? The Inside the NDX, you got Charter Communications up 2%. PayPal's up, uh, no, the paychecks, that's good, up 1.8%. I'm going to pull that back. Take it away from it. Moderna's down 4.3%. Is that Rivian? Oh, yeah, Rivian's down 3.8%. Lucid's down 3.8%. So let's go. I'm going to go to Paychex here for take a look at this. Because this is where, you know, we brought up, we brought up Syntas. Um, Syntas chart was at highs. And so my, my point is, is that looking for the aspect of, uh, you know, are we going into recession or not? So we take a look at Paychex. We have with Paychex, yeah, this is just. So paychecks came down hard. Yeah, 
this came down. Uh, let me pull this back. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so I see what happens here. So this is going to the bottom of its consolidation. That brings you all the way back to 2021. Yeah, this is, this is, you're coming down with volume. The last, okay, let me just see this. 105.69 was 3.4 million. We've done 3.9, and that's on the weekly. So you're coming down into that swing with volume. It's building cause to break it. So we'll see how this shakes out. This one's, you know, it, it's, it's important to basically keep your eyes on a paychecks, on a syntax. The, the reason being is that, if we're going to come into a you know full blown recession, what you're going to see is that those equities are going to be lower. That's the, that's the bottom line, you know, because you're going to have less people on payrolls, you're going to have less people paying for the service versus maybe they start pulling back on on expenses. They'll start doing it themselves. Um, most times, what it is, it's not that part of it. Most times, what it is is that the aspect of that you have, don't have enough new companies that are coming on board. That's what it really comes down to. We got to take, let's go take a look at a few of these gold equities. So we'll go take a look at e an, an Eco Eagle first. We got an Eco Eagle. So we got a sideways move. Now, this is going to be subtle. It's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out because yesterday it came down slightly, just uh, with 2.3 million. You're doing 545,000 uh, going higher today. If we go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at Barrick because what Barrick did do, Barrick. Look like you know it had real juice when, and it did when it when it came into this last swing. Now what's going to happen? Okay, the swing I'm talking about is this. So we had volume with Barrick at, at 17.64. It did 28 million. Then we tested it with 20. We came down yesterday with 16, and you know it's going up today with four. It's not a bad. It's We'll see. What you don't want to do if you own Barrick, you, don't, you do not want to see this test this high up here. You know, if it laid right here, it'd be pretty good, you know, because when you're going sideways, if you can lay at the top of the range, even when you're going sideways, the longer that you lay at that top, the more probabilities that you're going to basically break through that top. You know, in, in this particular case, that's probably, I would say, the, the equities I look at in the gold market, that... That has the best indication that it may break topside. The rest of them, I'm still that we're going downtown. I'm still in the context that this dollar is basically going to basically run higher. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, 49, Nasdaq's down 35. S&Ps are up three. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.